So today in this kitchen remodel, we're gonna start setting cabinets. The first thing we're gonna do is lay out in order to solve any problems before they ever show up. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do in this kitchen remodel for setting cabinets is we're gonna set up our laser level. The reason why we're gonna use that is we're gonna use that as our point of reference, our point of plane reference to find the high spot in the floor. The most important thing that you're gonna remember in setting cabinets uh, that any carpenter will do is set your cabinets from the high point of the floor. Uh, and so we just simply go around with our tape measure and we'll go at the back of the wall, we'll go all out to the front of where the toe kick's gonna sit and we'll find where our high point is. So I already know that right here where I'm standing, this is my high point. But it's just important to understand that this red line here is gonna be your point of reference. That's why using a laser level is so great in finding out what the palette the entire room is doing for you. Everybody that set cabinets learns real fast that you're gonna set your cabinets from the high spot on the floor. Because if you're setting your cabinet in a straight plane, a level plane, if you set it on a low point, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna hit a high point long before you, you know, and then you're gonna to have to rise your cabinets, well then it's not flat, right? So you'll have to take them all apart and start all over again and find your high spot. The other thing I like to do is I like to use my straight edge, my level, to find out what's going on with the walls. This is another really important factor. Are these walls plumb? Are they out in some way? Are there humps on it in some way? In this case, uh, that's plumb, and I've got a gap down here, which means I know that this wall is sloping inwards at the top. That's why, I'll put my level down over here, that's why I have a mark at the top of the wall here that says zero, and that's my point of reference. I know that that's the high part, the high spot on the wall. And here's the reason why I do that, is because I know what size my cabinets are, right? And so if I measure from there all the way over to this over here, and this is where the, this is where the stove is gonna be, so my upper cabinets, and my lower cabinets have to line up. In order to do my layout of my cabinets in this direction, what I do is I measure off of this point of reference right here. That's where your cabinets are gonna get set from so that they can remain uh, plumb and level all the way out to here. Layout is probably the biggest key and if you don't, if you skip that and, and you jump ahead out of excitement for getting your cabinets in or any kind of carpentry job, you could open it to yourself for some problems. There's another little interesting little trick that I like to do. So I also like to see what's happening with the walls in a uh, horizontal plane. So for instance, I'll put my straight edge on the wall and I'll check the wall itself for straight. In this case, I have a hump right here and I simply just mark it. Don't be afraid to mark your walls. Uh, you can see as well, I have a hump behind me over here that I've, that I've also, this is gonna affect your set, and this is another high spot. So when I'm setting my cabinets, I'm setting them off to the high spot because the face of your cabinets have to be straight. So one more thing, because we set a lot of cabinets all the way to the ceiling, it's really important to remember to also measure your point of references off the ceiling. That's another reason why we have this laser level set up. And so I'll measure down off the ceiling to find out where the humps are in the ceiling as well. Okay, so the three most important things that you're gonna remember is your layout, you're gonna set your cabinets from the high spots from the floor, the walls, and the ceilings. And the final thing that you're gonna try to do is remember to think about the final look all of the horizontal planes and vertical planes that need to tie into each other when you're doing all of your finishes. Okay, so the next step in our layout is going to be uh, putting our horizontal lines on the wall for where we're actually gonna set our cabinets to. And so uh, we measured the back of our upper cabinets so that we know what size that is. So I'm gonna measure down uh, the distance of what our cabinet backs are. In this case, it's 44 and a half. So I've gone 44, you know, and five eighths, 44 and a half. 
uh, and I'll make a mark on the wall. Once I have that mark I'll, off the laser level, I'll just measure up, in this case it's four and a half inches off of this laser line, and I'll measure four and a half inches up here, four and a half inches up on the other end of my run, and then I'll draw a horizontal line. We'll do that around the entire room. It's the same with the lower cabinets. Now simply just draw a line across here, take that off, that becomes my line where my upper, my lower cabinets get set, right off of that line. Everything is parallel, everything is parallel off the ceiling for when we're doing our crown mold. Uh, and now the next step is to set our ledger on the wall and start setting our upper cabinets. A good carpenter will look for common problems that they run into, especially an experienced, an experienced one will look for common, pro common problems and they will eliminate those because there's always unforeseen that crop up and then they have the energy to deal with that. We started in the corner. You always want to start in the corner first, right? So what I like to do is set a ledger underneath the bottom edge. What we do is we'll set the corner cabinet first, just kind of temporarily with screws in the wall, and then we'll mold the next cabinet that, that uh, into it with screws through the face frame. Uh, we'll clamp the face frames together with clamps. That's how we do it. And then the next cabinet on the wall, so we like to mull our cabinets together on the wall. And using our shims, and so when we, we identified the high spots on the wall, like the hump that was to the right of the window there, well, that's a high spot. So you can see where we put shims in and we level across the face and then you're sh using shims in the front of your cabinets. <clears throat> and as you set them, even toward the back and the side, just to make sure they're, they're secure. Okay, so now that we're winding things down, the final four steps are gonna be to set the sink. We're gonna adjust the cabinet doors and drill holes for the handles, and then we're gonna set the crown mold.